I'm Maria and this is my story. I've had a really hard life. My dad died when I was eight. My mom raised me. I was molested when I was 12. I got in a real bad car accident in 2004 and that's when I lost my life. I got into the pills real bad, shot up several times. I've been in that jail. I didn't want to go to prison. And um, when I asked the judge for um, the rap program, he laughed at me, said there was no hope. I started rap in 2014. I completed the rap program. I did what I was supposed to. And I've changed my whole life around. I've been volunteering for 211 for five years. I do Celebrate Recovery, I do RAC. I um, volunteer for my church. I've done so much for the community. And I'm not doing it to get blessed. I'm doing it because I love people. I don't want people to change. You know, I, if I could do it, anybody can. I didn't know how much I'd done or doing until people, till now, when, you know, Lincoln Central is like, well, you got a story you need to tell. I got an email from Diane one day and asked me, if, do I have a garage? And I said, yes, I do. He go, well, do you, would you like, do you need a garage door? And I was like, yes, I do. This is my third house. I had bought three houses in the past and my addiction got in the way. I lost both of my houses. And with this house, I thought I was going to lose it a few times, but I was still paying it, still praying that I wouldn't lose it. My house, uh, as of in a few weeks in August, it'd be paid for. And my, it be, it's my house. I've been trying to find different ways to work on my house after I pay it. She said, okay, she goes, I got some people over here that's going to help you put a garage door. I'm like, what? Overhead door has put electric in my garage door. These people don't even know me. They don't even know my story. And and how much they've done. They've done so much for me. When I shut the garage door the very first time, it was like, wow, you know, this is another chapter of my life that, you know, I'm getting blessed. And I, you don't need to know why. You know, I mean, I've, I've been clean almost six years. October 29th makes six years. And as much as the, the doors has opened for me, including this, it means the world to me. If you need a garage door, just go to the overhead door because they do an excellent job. They're good people. I love my door, you know, I mean, and I appreciate them so much. Here at Overhead Door, one of our core values is giving back to the community. We feel an obligation that the community that supports us, we need to give back to. We wanted to help a family and we went to Lincoln Central and said, do you have anybody that we might be able to go and put a door in for that would really need it? And they immediately came to the conclusion that Maria is the perfect prospect for us to, to talk to. And when we heard Maria's story, it was overwhelmingly compelling. We went out and took a look at her house and immediately identified there's no power in the garage. So we talked to our good friends at DDIY Electric, Pal Cooper and Chris Weber at AAA Irrigation. So those guys really stepped up and came on board and collectively we showed up at the house and got the job done and when you saw Maria's reaction, it was all worth it. You know, one of the things about Columbus that makes this community unique is exactly this kind of project. There's no shortage of business owners that are willing to help it fast here at Overhead Door. That's the way we want to operate. We want to work with people like that to make Columbus a better place to live.